and welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Sean. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more. Today my video for you is a bedroom makeover. Now this bedroom is my daughter's bedroom and this is exactly what it looked like before. We'd been sleeping in it before but before that my grandma had slept in it and it hasn't been decorated since the 70s. The first thing we did was get a new carpet. So a guy came in to lay a new carpet for us and we just got a really nice kind of pale carpet unlike the really dark brown that had been down there before. I really loved the wallpaper on these walls but it wasn't exactly the kind of thing that my daughter would like and I really hated the yellow paint it kind of always looked really dirty. The first thing we did was just set up the room with the decor as it was and that carpet so we did that we did that in the summer when my daughter was away with my mum for a week and we just put all of her furniture up and made it look like her room. Then we got her to choose what wallpaper she would like in her room. And she chose this fantastic, gorgeous kind of geometric design from Graham and Brown. So when she was at school one day, I wallpapered two of the walls in her room and that was all the wallpapering we were going to do. But the thing is, she still had a yellow wall and it really didn't go with the rest of the room. So we decided we were gonna paint the rest of the room white. And then I had an idea to put some glitter in the paint and I added slightly less than it said to, but it gave a fantastic finish and you can't really see it in this video. I'm really annoyed that it doesn't show up enough, but basically you only really see it if light goes onto the wall, but it's a really nice subtle shimmer. We've added a few bits of customization. She chose her carpet and she also chose her curtains. And I think my daughter's got a seriously good eye for detail because some of the things she chose, especially the curtains, I didn't think they would go in her room but actually they look fantastic. She also has the little Ikea table, but it doesn't really go in this room. Possibly I could paint it, but I, I don't know if I ever will. The wardrobe she has is a G-Plan wardrobe from the 70s, and it's one that my grandma had. And then we put the bookcase in her room because she just needed a bit more storage because she has so many different kind of Sylvanian things and Playmobil things, and she just needed somewhere to store them. She also has a dressing up rail in the corner of her room. I bought this rail on Amazon. It's not a particularly glamorous rail, but the clothes on it look fantastic and she doesn't need anything more than that. I had so much fun just creating this wonderful space for her. It's a really lovely room. She's six at the moment, but I think that this room will last till she's a fair bit older because it's quite a grown up room. It's definitely not a babyish room. I hope you've enjoyed this video and a look around her bedroom. We still need to paint the ceiling and the skirting boards, but that will get done in time. For now, it looks fantastic and it really suits her. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to, then please subscribe and I will see you again soon. All right, bye.